Okay, so can you solve this simple algebra equation? Well, hopefully you can, but uh, actually a lot of you are not going to know where to start, especially if you understand what the question is asking. So what we have here is four to the y power is equal to 10. In other words, four to some number, y just represents a number, is equal to 10. Let's take a look at a couple examples of four so we can understand this question. So if we have four to the first power, that's simply four. Now how about four to the second power? Well, that is four times four or 16. Now what we're trying to determine is four to some power is 10. Now we could see here that four to the second power is uh, 16. So uh, uh, the power of two is gonna be too big, right? Because we need 10 as our answer, but four to the first is equal to four, so one is not enough as well. So it appears that four to some power is equal to 10. That value has to uh, be somewhere between one and two. So how do we solve this type of equation in algebra? Well, that's my question to you, and feel free to use a calculator if you know exactly how to solve this, and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second, and then of course I'll solve this problem step by step. This is a really important topic in algebra, and if any of you uh, out there are actual algebra students, you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to this. Okay, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so four to some power y, and again, y just represents, uh, represents a number, is equal to 10. What is the answer? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So y is approximately equal to 1.66. And again, this makes sense because uh, four to the first, if y was equal to one, uh, our answer would be four. If y was equal to two, our answer is 16. So it's going to be, again, somewhere between one and two. And of course, the correct answer is uh, 1.66. So that's why it took uh, a moment to explain the question because a lot of you uh, won't know how to do this problem, at least right, not right now. In a couple of minutes, you'll be an expert at this. But if you got this right, that is fantastic. We have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family then indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of solving basic exponential equations. And that's what's going on here. This type of equation in algebra is an exponential equation. This thing right here, we have a power, but this part of the power is called an exponent. So therefore this is an exponential equation and it's really not all that simple to solve. It's not difficult, but if you never learn how to solve an exponential equation, but don't feel so bad. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a hint on what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using these buttons on your calculator, the LOG button, and you could also use this button right here, the LN button. So if you ever wonder what those buttons were about, well, those buttons are about solving these type of equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So as I indicated, this is an exponential equation. Now we can identify equations by where the variable is at. So when the variable, i.e. the unknown value, is in the exponent location, this is an exponential equation. And this equation is much different than, let's say uh, we had four uh, times y is equal to 10, okay? So here's a variable y, but it's not in the exponent. This type of equation here is a linear equation, and actually this is very easy to solve. Basic algebraic uh, equation, all we have to do to solve for y is divide both sides of the equation by four. So y is equal to 10 over four, all right? No problem. Again, this is what we call a linear equation. But this equation here, when we have the variable uh, in the exponent position, is a totally different story. It's not gonna be as easy to solve uh, as a basic linear equation. Matter of fact, you will need a calculator to solve these type of equations, uh, more or less. There are exceptions uh, in terms of the type of problems. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how 
um, we could think about this problem, right? So I kind of already I went over this in the beginning of this video, but the objective here is to find the correct power of y, okay, or the power of 4, excuse me, we're looking for this exponent, the actual um, value of it, such that 4 to this number is equal to 10. Now, again, 4 to the first power is equal to 4, and 4 to the second power is equal to 16. So 4 to what power is equal to 10? How can we uh, find this precise value? Well, again, we're going to have to use these buttons here. Uh, what we're going to be talking about here in a second is logarithms. And uh, this button, L-O-G, or this button here, L-N, this is what we call the natural logarithm. We're going to need to use these buttons on your calculator, primarily this one here. But uh, let's go ahead and explain what logarithms are just in case you don't know what they, um, you know, what they are. So some of you may have never studied this in algebra, and that's okay. I'm going to give you a quick, basic crash course on this stuff. But uh, let's first identify what we're going to do here. Okay, so we have 4 to the y power is equal to 10. So anytime in algebra, when you're trying to solve an equation, you need to identify what type of equation. So again, here, I'm looking for the variable. It happens to be in the exponent location. So you're going to say, oh, you know what? That U2 math man told me this is an exponential equation, and that is correct. So this is what you want to remember. Anytime you have an exponential equation, you're going to be thinking logarithms to solve. We need to use logarithms uh, to solve exponential equations. And when we have logarithmic equations, we're going to be using exponents to solve those type of equations. That's because exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses of one another. Now, some of you don't even know what a logarithm is. It's no big deal. I'm going to show you what the logarithms are right now. But just as a general rule, when you see this type of equation, you need to be thinking L-O-G. Oh, i got to use that L-O-G button on my calculator. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what a logarithm is. And let's start down here to, in the uh, bottom right, okay? So here I have 2 to the 4th power. So 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. So what does this mean? Well, we're going to take 2 and multiply itself, or multiply it by itself, 4 times, right? So that's 2 to the 4th power, and that's equal to 16. Now, when we're talking about powers, uh, there are parts to powers. So the 2 right here, this is called the base. The 4, this little 4 in the top right, is called the exponent. And then 16 is the answer. Okay, so when we take this uh, base of 2 and raise it to the exponent of 4, okay, our answer is 16. Okay, so we have the base, uh, we have the exponent, we have the answer. All right, so let's see how we can uh, write powers, write um, exponents as logarithms. And that's what basically logarithms are. They're another way to uh, kind of relate uh, powers. Okay, in other words, a base, an exponent, and an answer. All right, so now let's go over here, and I'm going to give you a cool, interesting little phrase, and hopefully you'll never forget this, and that is bacon and eggs. You're like, what? What are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, I'll say it again, bacon and eggs. So it's going to be log B A equals E. So bacon and eggs. So if you can remember that, then you'll remember about logarithms. Okay, so let's go down here and review our 2 to the 4th is equal to 16. So remember, 2 is, a ba is the base here, 4 is the exponent, and 16 is uh, the answer. Okay, so we can kind of think of what's going on here. 2 to the 4th is equal to 16 as a, a base, a certain base raised to an exponent is equal to an answer. So B, e, uh, B to the E power is equal to A. Okay, now what we need to understand is log, bacon, and eggs, we can write a um, power in this way. In other words, we'll write L-O-G, our base will be down here, our answer will be here, and this is going to be equal to uh, our exponent. Okay, so if you can remember this relationship, then you can write logarithms, and you can see a logarithm and write it as, um, um, as a power. Okay, so let's take this right here, 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. Let's write this as a uh, logarithm. So we have L-O-G, base what? Well, our base is 2. Remember, uh, bacon and eggs. Our answer is 16, so we're going to put that right here, okay? And that's going to be equal to the exponent 
of four. All right, so log base two, 16 is equal to four. Now on your calculator, the LOG button is what we call the common logarithm. Matter of fact, let me erase this here real quick. And this is LOG base 10. This other button, LN, is really what we call log base E. That's called the natural logarithm. But uh, some of you might be saying, well, this is really confusing. Well, again, if you never study this uh, kind of formally, uh, this is typically taught in like second year algebra courses, college algebra, pre-calculus. But even if you've never taken uh, these courses before, you know, hopefully this will give you a basic sense about uh, what a logarithm is and how it relates to basic exponential functions. Okay, so if you understand this, then this is uh, how to solve this particular equation is going to make a lot more sense. So let's go ahead and take the next step. And that, of course, is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, uh, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't that important. This is a great way to show support if you like my content. Um, you know, basically, every person that subscribed to, subscribes to my channel, and right now, I think I'm up like a 509,000 uh, subscribers. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, for me, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have well over 2,000 videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between, because I just love teaching mathematics. But I literally look at every person that subscribes as kind of like a student in my virtual classroom. But uh, really, my objective is to try to help as many people that need assistance in mathematics, especially those that are on the verge of giving up. So please don't give up. And uh, if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification uh, button so you can get my latest content. But thanks so much uh, you know, for just watching this video. Hopefully, you will become a new subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get back to this problem. Okay, so we have 4y is equal to 10. Okay, so now that we have an understanding of what a logarithm is, uh, solving this equation is going to be very easy. All right, now remember, well, I look, I'm looking at this equation, and I have this exponent. Uh, I have the variable up in the exponent location. So you're saying, okay, uh, this is an exponential equation. So you're in your brain, you're like, all right, you're kind of thinking about this. You're like, hmm, I got uh, an exponent. That's where I'm looking at up there. So I need to use logarithms. That's what that YouTube guy told me. So indeed we do. All right, so what we're going to do is take the log of both sides, the LOG. Now, again, LOG, okay, is just a button. And you're going to see here in a second how... Um, uh, this works in terms of, you know, getting the actual, you know, answer here. But the first thing you need to do is we need to take the LOG of both sides. Okay, so right here, we're going to take the LOG of both sides. Now, I am, this is a very simple problem. If there was, if this equation um, was more involved, let's say we have 4 to the y power plus 2 is equal to 10, we would have to basically isolate this power, uh, a base and exponent is equal to a number. So this is a very simple example. Of course, there's going to be more sophisticated problems. But um, anyways, at this point, what we're going to do is take the log of both sides. Now, right here, if you go into your calculator and you say, well, what does log 10 mean? Well, this is just a decimal value. Okay, you could uh, plug it into your calculator, uh, hit the LOG button 10 and hit enter, and you'll see you'll just get a value, just a number. So really now, this is just some sort of decimal value, but you don't want to change this into a decimal, not just yet. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and take the next step. All right, so we're taking the log of both sides, LOG 4, to the y power is equal to LOG 10. Now, what we need to understand is that we have this fantastic property of logarithms. And uh, for those of you that really uh, need to learn this stuff, matter of fact, if you do need to learn this or if you want to learn this, check out like my Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, we have a particular property is, and that property is when we take the logarithm of both sides and we have this um, power, we can drop down the exponent in front of the logarithm. So log 4 to the y power, we can actually write as y times log 4 is equal to log 10. Okay, so we could drop this down. There's a property of logarithms. And now this is just a basic algebra equation because log 10 is a number. It's a decimal value, and log 4 is also a decimal value. You kind of think of this as, uh, let's say I had y... Uh, to some uh, value, let's just say 3 is equal to 12. Okay, y 
times 3 is equal to 12, but that's the same thing as this equation, y, uh, 3y is equal to 12. Now, typically, we'll write the number in front of the variable, but you know this uh, equation right here, 3y is equal to 12, is easy to solve. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3, and we will have uh, solved for y, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Okay, This is not that difficult once you understand that these are, in fact, just decimal values. All right, so how are we going to solve for y? Uh, pretty straightforward again. All we're going to do is uh, divide both sides of the equation by log 4. Okay, and so again, this is just a basic value. So now here we have log 10 divided by log 4, and this is the point where we want to go ahead and break out our calculator. So take log 10 and divide it by log 4, and when you do that, you'll get a decimal. And I'm just kind of rounding it off. We get y is approximately equal to 1.66, which, of course, makes sense when we understood kind of what the problem was asking. Let's go way back up here. And we're, we're kind of saying to ourselves, well, uh, 4 to the uh, first power is uh, 4. 4 to the second power is 16. So 4 to what power is 10? Well, the answer has got to be somewhere between 1 and 2. And, uh, of course, we just determined it's about 1.66. Okay, so this is just a quick introduction to exponential equations, logarithms, a huge topic in algebra. So if you didn't know where to start, uh, you know, in terms of how to solve this equation, well, that's perfectly fine because you may never have uh, studied this in, in mathematics before. But hopefully you found this interesting, and hopefully this motivates you to want to learn more about math. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.